like is a real teller of how our educational system has failed us. This is getting serious. Sorry. And, and sorry. And here we go, go back to politics. Sorry, go back. Ryan told you're me for the podcast. So stupid. Politics. I said not to, and you're like, it's not gonna get political, guys. I can see your face really- slowly just going fucking dead. Hey, how you doing, everybody? My name is Michael the Chairman, and this is... Ryan Radio. You look like you're fucking... For those of you just listening, Ryan's putting on a mask to talk to me over the internet. You look like you're, you know... First off, what is you're wearing a hoodie inside with Harry Potter glasses. You look like you're Harry Potter about to rob a 7-Eleven, and then you're putting on a mask like you're Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> And you're about to do a fatality with a fucking Get over here. Hogwarts wand. Oof. That would actually be a really sick Harry Potter character. He just scorpion, he throws the chain at you, pulls you, and then Harry Potter hits you with the wand and you just turn into something. That'd be, that'd be lethal. It'd be overpowered. Mortal Kombat with Harry Potter? Yeah, fatality just turns you into a rat and then just steps on you and <laughs> squishes his boot. <laughs> Ratality. Ratality. You look like you're fucking... Are those actually Harry Potter glasses? No, these are actually prescribed glasses for me. By Harry Potter? No, actually. No, by the way... Dude, with, the, Potter, with the lighting Hogwarts. and everything, Hogwarts. you look like you're about to rob Hogwarts. You literally look like you're Harry Potter, who did not get accepted into Hogwarts, and you're about to break in and kill Hagrid. You're about to fucking... I don't know, maybe you're about to like bring in a... Uh, M16, and you're about to light everybody up. I don't know. Whoa, 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 <laughs> In whoa, Hogwarts, whoa. Like, you look like you're, whoa. like you're whoa. Harry Potter school whoa. shooter whoa. in the whoa. multiverse of whoa. Hogwarts. Whoa, whoa, that's <laughs> chill. Okay, by the way, we're not promoting that. That's terrible. <laughs> Second of all, I want to be able to get one mag off. They would have, they'd know that when I stepped in that place, like, oh, that dude has a fucking gun. And What's then more effective, t- a fucking wand where you had to take the time to go alakazam or like a guy in texas who pulls it out and goes boom well what think takes about longer it, going alakazam we, or boom we, yeah think about it, though are we talking about in a standoff or we're talking about like if a i'm like standoff a standoff Stand? uh, you always say stand. i don't know why i do that so much i, I was stand. thinking about that but anyways i don't know why i keep doing that anyways no i'm just saying like you gotta think about the circumstance because if i'm like going to hogwarts to do this terrible absolutely do not do <laughs> shoot up hogwarts <laughs> They will know, like, because okay, they're wizards. Like, not only can they control one, they they sense. They shit. can't predict you know, the future. Know. Wizards like no, aren't but they fe- know. But they'll know. Like, if they, you they step in certain, they, they'll know. Yes, they will. They'll know. They won't know. They'll know. Yes, they will know. They will know. They will Let's, know, and I'll get and I'll get murked. So don't do anything of like that. I haven't read any of the Harry Potter books or seen the movies. I was like in the hospital, like growing up. I missed all of them for all my surgeries. Like during all the summers. So I haven't seen, I really haven't seen, I've only seen the first one, I think. It's very possible there might have been a school of shooting in the books. Yeah. And maybe it wasn't no, put in the I movies. Mean, I, okay, that's terrible. No, there was never, <laughs> okay, no. Was no. there, Dude, was there I, a actually, Hogwarts a, school no, of that's shooting? That's actually a good question, though. What do you, what, no, that's a good question I'd ask you, though. What do you watch? So say, because I just thought about that, because like, <clears> well, I, I had a few surgeries. So I remember going in early, and as I, you know, wait for the IV and the stuff to kick in, you know, settle in, as I get slowly knocked out, I had the TV on, you'd be watching something. What do you usually watch when you're in the hospital? Like, what do you, like, what did I go-to? watch growing up? Well, yeah, in the hospital, like, what was your go to? Like, that was like, like, what go-to, channel I was always on? Like, what I channels? Watching, I know they only had channels. I would watch when I was like really small Mulan, like every day, and Spider Man. Those are my two, I don't know why, two very different movies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I loved the idea of with a great power comes great responsibility. Mm-hmm. I still live my life by that quote, seriously. Yeah. And I don't know, I loved the idea of uh, in Mulan, how she signed up to take her father's place because she felt mm-hmm. that it was her duty to like yeah. uh, serve her country. Mm-hmm. So I've always kind of like maintained those values my entire life. <laughs> I don't know. He always kind of like make fun of me for it. Like, uh, you know, like when I went on that dating show, and I answered honestly about freedom of speech oh, and I was talking yeah. about 
how I love my yeah. country. And everyone was like, what are you talking about? You know, I was yeah. talking about like uh, George Carlin and Lenny Bruce who went to, got arrested for our freedom speech and stuff. And everybody, yeah. my, our, it amazes me that most people are aged. I don't even know what the amendments are. The majority of them. Isn't that, doesn't that amaze you? Doesn't that like, like is a real teller of how our educational system has failed us? This is getting serious. Sorry. And, sorry. And Here we go, go back to politics. I was going to Ryan told you're you for the so podcast. So stupid. <laughs> I said not to, and you're like, it's not going to get political, guys. I can see your face slowly just going fucking dead. Before we literally clicked record, I literally told <laughs> Michael, let's not get political. I'm Please. Sorry. And he goes, oh, it's not going to get political. It's not political. It's not at my political. core. I don't know. It's at my so core. So we're not going to answer. We're going to skip that. No, we're going to. Okay, okay. I'm done. I'm done. Yes. So we, we, we well, do want to talk about Joe Biden wandering in the bushes, though. That wasn't political. You said that's political. Yeah. No, but that it is was not funny. political. That's not political. Yes. It was funny to see Joe Biden. Like the guy is like pointing, hey, Joe, like go this way. And Joe Biden like walks into the bushes. Now, no, no, I, I don't know. No, the, why. the guy, the guy, the Secret Service guy was just walking on the lawn to go up in a different way. And Joe Biden but just followed pointing. him like he's playing follow the leader when he's supposed to be the leader of the free world. He just no. wanders onto the grass and what goes in the bushes. If, if you see the guy, he's pointing to go take a right. He's pointing to Joe, hey, go right. You can see with his fingers. Maybe you and saw Joe a different video wanders. than me. I saw one where Joe just wanders on the White House lawn and gets confused at where he is. And everyone was like, oh, what is no. he doing? No, this was recently. This was like two or three days ago. That's what I thought I saw. No, literally, it's like, it's like a back shot. And he's walking, and the, the path takes a right. And the National Service, yeah. the Secret Service guy goes, hey, Joe, take a right. And then he just keeps going. And the Secret Service guy goes, oh, okay. Are oh, you saying the Secret Service? Yeah, okay. We're on the same page. He was telling him to go on the path. But Joe yes, was so out of it, he went to. on the lawn. He was pointing to it. Yeah, he was yeah, pointing yeah, yeah, to it. Yeah. Hey, Joe, yeah, go Joe that way. Yeah, that's right the leader so, of the free world. Michael, the free world. Michael, stop. Okay, sorry. Stop. 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 <sighs> I need. I honestly, I need to get a soundboard and just have like a. <clears throat> I, I need to get it. I need to get it. No, I need to get one. That I need to get it. That's like a challenge for me to you. not be political for one episode oh, at all. Shit. Like. What's Come harder on. for me? What do you think is harder for me? Not to swear or to not be political? Because they're both like, am I core? Not be I political. <laughs> because honestly, swearing, honesty is just, hey, that's okay. You know, a lot of people swear. I know a, lot, a couple of girls I work, I work with to swear a lot. That's just who you are. I fucking do. Especially when I'm alone. I go, fuck me. Like I stung my toe. I start just dropping yeah. F-bombs and cunt bags. If it was like know, a like, challenge, what would be harder for me? Not to swear or not politics. to be political? politics because literally all you have on twitter is people that joke about politics and people who talk about politics so literally you can't go without talking about politics i literally was just waiting for you to talk about stop talking about stop uh, stop talking about spider-man mm. milan so i can only say i just want like i was just talking about what i watched when i was in the like in the hospital but no yeah i was slowly hearing this, <laughs> you just wanted this, to like, talk about what do you want to talk about literally literally the spoiler <laughs> right, what did you over. watch no, what did you watch in the hospital, Ryan? What did you watch? Spoiler alert! Literally, okay, it, we're past the week. Spoiler alert! Literally, you finished Loki. Literally, I'm Loki. You literally stabbed fucking Kane, and you created this multiverse. I'm trying to just go okay. back to this. Week, like, no, Oof, let me just what, go this you... way. <laughs> let me go this way. Every see, okay, everything. Sorry. What's harder? I always talk about politics, and you always talk about Marvel. Those are like what? our two things. Guess like, what? Guess what? Everything though? with Guess you is Marvel. Though? Guess what though? People what? like Marvel. People I love people Marvel too. People Marvel. are obsessed with politics now. What are you talking about? But, but no, that's all what? people, people talk about. But guess what? But guess what? There's two sides of politics. There's only really one side. Oh, lo, you know, like the Marvel. Everybody loves Marvel. You know, like Not DC you, fans. Like, DC fans hate Marvel. Well, guess what? They suck. Literally, they haven't created <laughs> good shit since Dark Knight Rises. Like their shit's that is trash. That's no, true. Okay, the new Suicide Squad's really good. Fair play. The new Suicide Squad's really good. Not I'll say that. Yet. So that is pretty good. That's the first thing they good thing they made because, because of James Gunn. He's a Marvel yeah. at he's a because he, he made Guardians of the Galaxy so good. Exactly. And it's like oh, so now he makes Suicide Squad look good. Like look at that. He, look at that. <laughs> anyways, okay. no. Anyways, I just want no because I want to talk. I thought that was an interesting topic because I just want to ask because you've been in the hospital a lot of times. And mm -hmm. I've always found it interesting to figure out what, what do people watch in the hospital that either calms them down and just, you know, just makes them feel normal or comfortable. So I just wanted to ask you because, you know, you've been there and I never asked you before. So I'm trying to think whenever I go in the hospital now, 
I don't even watch anything. I just sit there and I, I literally will interview because I'm used to like podcasting now and yeah. interviewing people. I'll interview nurses just mm-hmm. on the fly as oh. like practice. And I'll just have like long conversations with doctors yeah. and nurses and nurses nearby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I honestly, literally, I just put sports, I'd put sports center on. I did that when I had yeah. two of my surgeries. Like, I mean, cause I had like both my surgeries is really early in the morning. So I'm, I don't want to watch, I don't want to watch the news. Like I'm in, I'm about to have surgery. I'm trying to get comfortable and just, you know, get ready for it. I don't mm. want to watch politics. I know I want to watch sports and I'm comfortable with watching. Listen, I will admit like, like whenever you're about to, uh, you know, go in for surgery or like in, when something like really like real reality sets in, like I remember like yesterday we lost power for like yeah. all day again. And whenever we lose power or some real shit happens and only like you lose connection to the internet and the outside yeah. world, it really lets you think for a second, oh, none of that really matters directly to me right now. Mm-hmm. And it's just like a foreign stress I shouldn't be worrying about because I can't yeah. directly affect it myself. I'm not like an mm-hmm. elected member of Congress right now, you know, I might be in the future or something you know so it's like i should focus on things that directly affect me and not just people speculating about stuff that doesn't even really matter like twitter fights mm. about nothing you know yeah i'm sorry you're gonna hate me here i'm gonna do it again what? i'm really gonna be i'm learning to be the tva to your policy be the political oh you're very really so because you got closer you're talking about being uh being a part no, of i just talked about how it didn't matter i just talked bridging. about i complimented what you just said and i said i didn't Politics like don't matter when real shit happens. Like when it's, you're dealing no. with a power outage and you got to like figure out like all the food's going to go bad. You got to figure out what you're going to go do. Like simple things like you got to oh, figure no, no. out what you're going to do saying, for dinner. I was close. Like I was watching what you're going to say, but you ended and I was like, okay, good. Good. He yeah. ended it there. I'm saying no, politics sure, don't matter. Like, oh, in, in, yeah, in realistic, no, that, yeah. in realistic yeah. situations when like shit hits the fan, you know, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. It just doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 No, but yeah, no, like I said, like, yeah, I mean, I just... I, I, cause when I was like younger, my dentist had TVs for like, cause I was a kid and I'd watch, they had Netflix and shit. So I'd literally watch like shit. I, I have really enjoyed that actually because I, like, I don't really like the dentist for some reason. Like, I just don't enjoy it. I don't like the noise. Like, the noise actually kind of bothers my ears. Like when the, they scrape your teeth. Yeah. Yeah. I, the, I always I, hated the, it too, but some yeah, people like f- have phobias. Like, they cannot go to the dentist. They cannot go. Oh, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just weird to me. Like, I understand clean your teeth. You want to get healthy teeth. So, like, I just get it. But it's just, it's just one of those uncomfortable. It's like for me, like I said, the yeah. noise just really bothers me. The noise, I just when they're yeah. scraping the the grittiness of when they're scraping shit on your teeth. The, yeah. I hate that that noise. You know. Yeah. But yeah. some people will no, literally they have it. to go on drugs. Imagine yeah, having no. to go through on drugs to go to the dentist. You know. Yeah, and I did have braces, so I'll, I powered. I'll power. I powered through it. So. Yeah. yeah. But no, so I, I would watch like, but when Netflix and like when I was younger, they had the Disney movies, Emperor's New Groove, all the way, baby. That was my shit. <laughs> that was a great movie. That was Honestly, a great movie. it's, it's just great. You know, what, what, where's my Emperor's New Groove ride, huh? Disney, Disneyland, huh? Emperor's New Groove ride. What would ride? that even be? You're going on like Potch's Hill and the swamp and going to Yzma's Evil Lab. And actually, it'd be actually, it'd be kind of an interesting indoor roller coaster. Yeah. You know what you find is like Kronk pulls the lever and it just falls. Saying, you drop. Yeah. You, you drop, drop. Yeah. Like the tower. Like a drop of like in a roller coaster. Yeah, or you yeah. drop in a roller coaster. <laughs> pull you know? the lever, Kronk. <laughs> yeah. Pull the lever, Kronk. Yeah. Should I have to pull the lever? Yeah. 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 You just drop. Like, like in that roller coaster, you just drop. And go, ah, the you poison, know? the poison for Cusco. And then like, they literally poison you on the ride. That is why. passes out. <laughs> no, that is like they're like no he, Patrick Warburton. Like that's why I love Patrick Warburton because he I he was Kronk, and he just the voice sat and then, like that's why voice. I loved yeah, like my favorite voice. show like my favorite <clears throat> show like one of my favorite shows is called Rules of Engagement and the two the best people in it is David Spade and Patrick Warburton and they're mm-hmm. they're just chemistry is so good and I that's what made the show and that's why I really like but just mm-hmm. Ember's new groove just was really relaxing for me to watch while I got went to the dentist. Those are the classics. Like, what yeah. new classics are coming out like that? You know? Well, like they're all trying movies. to make them live action. Like, I don't know why you have to make all of them live action. I, I, I saw don't. they made, like, a live action Kim Possible that looked terrible. Like, every new shit yeah. they're making is just weird. It is weird. Yeah, like, it doesn't so, work. Some just got to stay a cartoon, man. Just make, some of them just at the stage. The it's new Mulan classic. bombed. You know? That was yeah. terrible. And I'm not trying to get political, but they literally... Worked with the CCP, <laughs> who were had the concentration camps in China, with millions of people, like like a Holocaust in oh, China right now. Oh, oh, 
Oh, there it's it goes. fucking terrible. There it goes. <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. He just broke. He just broke the timeline. He just broke the. He just broke into the political verse. The political verse. Great. The multi political verse. Great. Sorry. Great. Great. Come on, really? You had to do that, really? I mean, it's a thing you that's happening in the real world. I'm not even trying to be political. But you just said you. But you just they went fucking booked Mulan political. with the fucking concentration camp people, like. You know, you can, all you, Michael, you could save that, and we've already talked about that in another podcast. Remember, I called out the most. That was, tell, it was a long time ago. Again. Yeah, I know. But still, make people go watch. Or we can talk about that in another podcast. That was like our first really, podcast. You just said, you just said that you weren't gonna get political. I'm not getting you, political. All you, all you could have said, all you could have said was the movie tanked, and then go. Oh, I mean, you know. You know, talk about other live action shit. It tanked. Okay? It tanked. Period. Okay, yeah, it tanked. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I also tanked was that movie with uh, Matt Damon, The Great Wall or whatever, where like it took place in China and everyone was like angry they used Matt Damon, a white guy, to like a Chinese thing. I don't know. Remember that? That was like a Disney thing too, wasn't it? Some. No, that wasn't a Disney thing. No, that wasn't Disney. No. No, it wasn't. I anyway, so. what were we talking about? Oh, just like, you know, what you watch in the dentist. <laughs> dentist You're talking in the about hospital. dentists and Mulan and fucking weird. This has got to be a weird like, episode. <laughs> well, because I wanted to go down that, you know, because we started cause, you off know, with you looking like Harry Potter about to shoot up Hogwarts. That's how this started. Then you, you putting on a mask. Think about that. You got to think about that. Everybody <laughs> has, I mean, not everybody, but a lot of people have been to the doctors one way or another and, and they may watch the TV and I think they could open discussion. What do people watch that calms you in general? You know, what? Like, it's it's an what, interesting what, idea. Like what calms you, what, what yes. do you watch to calm you down in a stressful situation? We're all situation? different. We're all different. Yeah. Right. We're all different. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm asking. So God, you know, Hey, that's it's a good question. It's, open, it's a good question. Open, open yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you know, other than I'm trying to think politics, what else I watch to calm me down. Like, I know if I ever want to calm down, I'll listen to like, honestly, mostly podcasts now. Like, I'll listen to Bill Burr if I'm ever like mm -hmm. having a bad day, and Bill Burr just makes me smile yeah. and, mm -hmm. you know, feel better. Yep. Can I come on your podcast, Bill? I love you. <laughs> yeah. Can, talk, can I be on your podcast too? We can talk about sports. Yeah. Boston I guy, have right? to learn a little bit more about is, sports. Is, is, isn't, isn't he a Boston guy? Uh, he's from Boston. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, we can talk about the Celtics, boy. I'm a Celtics fan as well. So talk about the sale. Yeah. Why? Have you yeah. ever been to Boston even? I've, I was, I've always actually wanted to go. Oh, you've never? How did you even become a Celtics fan? Because I was really young and I turned on my TV and literally <laughs> it happened to be Celtics first Lakers. No, I'm serious. Serious. Celtics first Lakers. You're Paul just Pierce a fan because it's the first thing you saw? Yeah, I mean, like I said, that's, that's how I became a fan. Paul Pierce. Uh, versus Kobe Bryant, and I either became and I became I like it's funny because I always say I could have been a Celtics or a Lakers fan watching that, and I Paul Pierce became my favorite player after watching that game. I thought you and, liked Kobe. Oh, I, I love Kobe. I mean, I love Kobe. R.I.P. Mamba. <laughs> hey, really? Hey, <laughs> it hurts. It all it will hurt and always will hurt. Okay. Why did really? they call him Mamba? Because he was dead. He was lethal. He was deadly. Like Mamba was like you know this. Most deadly oh, okay. snake. He was lethal. He was an assassin. He, you, you know, he got you because he was I really mean, he good. He put a he ball would... in a hole. I don't want to call him an assassin. You know. Hmm. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> anyways. Anyways. I mean, but he did want to talk about sports, someone, but. but I mean, if you want to talk about sports, you know, first week of the preseason, baby, happened. It, there's, you know, most of the games. There was a game Friday. There's some games Friday. There's a lot of games today. There'll be one more game tomorrow, and that'll be the first week of the preseason for the new NFL season. Are right, talking about football now? Yeah. You know, because, you know, mm -hmm. we had a lot of... Because I know you wanted, you wanted to, uh, to know because you, you've seen it on Twitter and stuff like that. And I see everything trending on Twitter, surprisingly, over politics, which is actually a good thing, is sports. You know, people yeah, are tired like of politics. People are starting to finally get tired of politics, even though well, it's, like, really important right now, but, you know. I, I I I don't blame them. I mean, I fucking yeah, hate no. politics a good amount. Sports too. is the one place. Sports is the one place where you can go and just be a fan. Like, well, I mean, you can, I, for a while there, hey, you couldn't mm, be. Mm, I'm not mm, getting political. Mm, I'm just saying, literally, for I'm I'm saying I'm happy politics is leaving sports, and really the UFC kind of set it as an example for that, right? Like Dana White kept all that shit out of there, you know. 
Well, I mean that, and then like like I think the NFL and the uh, and the NFL Players Association are working with the players and stuff to say, hey, how can the NFL help like like uh, lower communities and stuff like that? So they're kind of working together, you know, sh- to kind of. I don't think because I, I haven't heard much either. So I think it's more behind the scenes. They're kind of saying, hey, you know, maybe donate to some of these charities. You know, NFL maybe you know, like I'm saying behind the scenes stuff. You know, that's not socially. Yeah, just like stop. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Shout, making everybody are wait are they still doing the other like national anthem or do they stop that he's actually funny i mean i you know, it's funny is that i actually don't know because i strangely i ha, they, i don't think i've heard the national anthem in the preseason i think the coverage just plays the i think they only played at the stadiums i don't think they played over coverage what do you mean i don't even know because i mean i mean like the cut co- like they they go to commercial break while the national anthems are going in the stadium I could be wrong oh, because okay. I, because I haven't like I've actually it was funny is that even though I work at Buffalo Wild Wings, I don't like actually hear everything. So I'm always running back and forth. So I actually don't know if they play the national anthems. Maybe I'm wrong. They actually do play them. I mean, I hope, what I, do. Seen, I hope they I mean, do. I hope they do. Like I said, I said, but I don't know. I don't like I said I should know that. But like I said, like every game that's been played in the preseason, I've been working, so I haven't been. Who's your favorite seen. NFL team? The Cardinals, Arizona Cardinals. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Like, I, in Arizona. Then, yeah. Yeah. Then I kind of, I have like a special love for the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. So they're like Why? my second team. Cause I, I'm more of an old school. No, we're going to talk about this. Probably a topic we're going to talk about, but like an old can school. Can you be old school anything? You're 23. Like, but, can we no, even can, be. Can I finish? Can, you, can I finish? Can, I finish? can you even say old that? Old school like, football. Old school. Yeah, I can. Old school football where you can destroy people where football was football. Yeah, you know, some people got really bad concussions, but <laughs> back then you can lay the fucking wood on somebody and the Raiders were like that. The Raiders were tough. I, I kind of like the trash talking physical team. Well, how is know? old football different from new football? Well, talk about, you know, the no fun league. They call it the NFL National Football League or they call it the no fun league because as of like the other day or yesterday, they said that if you taunt or you do any sort of gesture that is trash talking or offensive to another player, that is a flag in 15 yards on your team. So wait, just wait, say you, your whole team will get penalized. Yeah. You so just think about having this. a little fun and being yes. celebratory. Yes. That's so that's stupid. A, a no. Wait, fun that's the whole league. point. That's literally the whole point of fucking football. Is to yeah, have fun with saying. it. That's what I'm saying. It's everybody, like entertainment. Everybody's revolting. It's everybody's entertainment. revolting. That's what I'm saying. Fun. That's what I'm saying. I I like like honestly, players should like if you get burnt, you got burnt. That sucks. So take it like a man. Honestly. Well, if anything, like, you should be encouraging that. more yeah. taunting and more silly fun shit. Like well, that's what makes people want to watch yeah. it more, right? Well, and think about like, and someone brought this up, like on television, you're like, think about a big game, the, your home team, the crowd's going, it's just adrenaline. You're not really thinking you're playing off adrenaline and just straight, you know, built up pressure and height for this big game and say it's a, like a third and 10, you're down three, fourth and like fourth and uh, 10, you convert it like a 20 yard catch where it gets you like in field goal range to win the game. And you do like a first down gesture because you're so pumped, you know, you know, what I just thought and you of? get flagged. What? Well, first of all, let me ask you, what's one way that you would, if you're an NFL player, what's one way you would celebrate after just dominating a fucking the guy, guy who was trying to stop you from making a touchdown? You fucking ran across the entire field. The guy almost tackled you, but you fucking made it. You shit on the other team, made an amazing play. How do you like celebrate another dude? So, so am I like out fucked? running? If, if I'm out running the dude, am I like out running everybody? Yeah, you're out running him. You oh, fucking make I'll the throw touchdown. Up the deuces. I'm throwing up the deuces. Tyree Kill. So Tyree Kill mean? is like one of the fastest, play- fastest players in the end. You know, you're like you're piecing out people because you're just burning everybody. Like Tyree Kill is like one of the fastest player in the NFL. And he would just burn dudes. And if he outran you and he's about to score, he throws up the peace on you saying, peace out, bitches. Like, you're <laughs> gone. Like, I'm gone. You ain't getting me. Like, that's what I do. I'd, I'd throw up the deuces. Like, what's up? There's bitches? two you things. Me. There's two things I would do. I would do my best OJ Simpson impersonation. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> and go Heisman and then just pretend to stab my fucking teammate. <laughs> Either that or I would like we'd have a wig on the sidelines and I'd have my teammate put a wig over his helmet and then I just pretend to punch <laughs> right right NFL player 
wife on his helmet. <laughs> just fucking punch the grated fence face. Like, yeah, knock him on the ground, kick props. him. <laughs> you have issues. You have problems. Just highlight that what they're terrible. most uh, well known for currently, you know. That's not, ev- you're generalizing. You're literally generalizing. <laughs> not every player is like that. I mean, a lot of them. And it's no, probably no, from all the concussions. Been- like, having a lot of concussions, like, makes you more, uh, you know, easily aggravated. And that's probably why they beat their wives senseless, which is terrible. Whoa, not all of them. Don't generalize. I didn't generalize. say all of them. Some of them. Many of them. So. Almost all of them. Probably all of them. Oh, oh. <laughs> generalizing, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Generalizing 101 with Michael the Chairman. You know, I mean. No, no. For, no. So, I mean. Shouldn't you, but the more creative the, the celebrations, the better. I think you should get, like, if you have, like, a really good celebration, add a fucking point. Like, add, that's like making another field goal or some shit. Like, add a point. Well, I mean, I mean you, know, like, you can't celebrate with your team. Like, your team literally just got, like, a game-winning sack, you know, and you guys can't, like, run as a group and celebrate, like, yes, a game-winning Ooh. sack. You know, like, fourth and, like, fourth and two. And they you know, do, that like, should a be, like, a... Action, sacks they should print, like, game-winning sack on some of the players' like crotch areas. <laughs> Bill Burr would not want to talk to sports with you for just going to do this. Bill, you talk about sports and he goes, you know what would be funny? Hey, Bill, you got a game one in sack. It would be funny <laughs> is if they put lips on the on the, 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 the rim and they put hair on the ball and it looks like the ball is dipping in the mouth. What? That's what you would say. What? That's what you would say. What I you thought you were going to say like put a wig and uh, fake lips on the ball because they're going to kick it in the face. <laughs> all they're on the ground just fucking punting. what is this what is this what is this what is this shit like what's wrong with you today <laughs> jesus christ i don't know I can... oh man no i i mean you 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 gotta just take i have to make everything seriously. dark i don't know why I, yeah. I ask myself this every day like why can't i just be like why can't you normal. be normal? You mean normal? You mean, mean like anything normal? I can't remember the last time I've had like a normal thought. You know, like they're all just dark. <laughs> they're all just, I don't know. I don't know. How do I make my brain normal? Is there a, such know. a thing as a normal brain? Like, what is a normal brain? How could you even say what's normal and what's not normal? Definitely not yours, that's for sure. Because if you can't have one normal fucking thought, you're fucked. Like, you have... You're fucked. I mean, I, I don't know. I just, like, turn everything into a dark joke. But they're jokes. You know, I don't believe it. They're just but jokes. So, uh, so, Lily, if your wife comes to you at, a, like, a time of need, and you say, like, you say maybe, like, your, like your baby died, you know, pre-birth, <laughs> you, would, you would literally, she'd be crying and upset. You'd go. Oh, God. You'd go. You'd make some dark joke. Like, that would be you, though, because. That's like, actually a fear of mine, is, like, someone comes to me with something terrible, and I just, even if I don't, like, even if I genuinely feel terrible, I tend to laugh in, like, terrible situations, and I have to restrain myself from smiling and laughing even though i don't want to laugh yeah. you know what i mean like i just un- mm-hmm. like you know how logan paul laughed in the suicide forest or whatever i feel yeah. like that would be me you know I, I felt a little connection with him somehow because first off i would have never gone and filmed dead bodies that's stupid but i laugh sometimes in uncomfortable situations you know what i mean like i'll feel empathy but i just i laugh uncomfortably sometimes i don't know why yeah, and that's got you got to work on that. It's, you it's can fun, work like, on that. It's funny to me the absurdity of the terribleness in that situation. You know, that's why you were. That's that why nine eleven jokes are funny, right? That's why that's when I tell why you should have won the award most likely to become a serial killer in high school. <laughs> what? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that like, should have been an award. You should have won it. I'm saying basically like, okay, so I tell cripple jokes about my life. I don't think it's funny all the terrible things I've gone through. The absurdity of how terrible they are is what's funny, right? Like the absurdity of a plane flying into a tower, having it collapse on thousands of people is not funny. But the absurdity of how terrible an event like that could happen, that's for some reason funny, right? right? Like tragedy plus time equals comedy. That's what they say is the formula. 
I mean, he you said, "You're gonna tell him, hey, Ryan, my wife kicked me out." What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I made I made a joke at a bad time. Uh, I'll be like, "I'm sorry, I ain't giving you shelter." I fucking told you ten years ago, fam. I, I have to. I don't know. You got a therapy for that? Fucking no. You don't need to if you're so called strong-minded, Michael. <laughs> I'm. Smart. I, don't, I genuinely don't think a therapist can help me at all. I really don't. No. That's what you gotta work on yourself. Well, dude, like the way I get out my madness is through stand up comedy. And, and I can't go do it. All the everything's are, closed. Are like, therapists are just doctors who listen to your problems and then they all they just tell you what they think is wrong and then they'll tell you, you know, they're helpful, but they're not but you know they're not like fucking Scarlet Witch. They can't just go like <laughs> you know, they can't like fucking I get everything shit, back so. to you with Marvel. Jesus Christ. I, 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 kinda, I actually had a small brain freeze, so I just had to go to what I just know. Yeah, again, like I told but, you, everything yeah. goes back to Marvel for you. Yeah. Everything's politics for me. That is what yeah, it is. So, yeah, so it's like, it, it should, like, therapists won't be able to fix you with that, you know, because you, you know, you're going to tell them that, and they're going to be like, well, you should try this and this and this, and you'd be like, okay, you know, so like... like I, what is there to try with me? Like, they're going to say, like, try having less dark thoughts. I'm like, that's impossible. I mean, it is, but that's kind of my you job just, though, is to, I mean, that's what fuels what I do. Job. So yeah. What? Like I said, your wife, I, your wife's going to tell me in 10 years that you did that. I'm, I'm going to be like, told him, I could tell him mean, like 10, five, 10 years ago. I have a little disconnect sometimes where it's like, I, I think that's like, good. Def- I think, well, it's called like a self-defense mechanism, right? You Imagine know, if I've your done, kid came to you, Dad. He said, Dad, I got bullied in, in school. What did they call you? Little bitch. And you just go, <laughs> like, you can't do that. And you can't crack a joke about that. Nah, to be honest, gotta, if a fucking kid bullied my kid, I had the same kind of response that Bill Burr's talked about or uh, Tom Segura. Like, you'd want to go kind of like turn that kid upside down and shake him until he starts crying, you know? Well, like he, but unless, like, unless he calls him a name that you would call somebody or you called somebody, you know, like, fuck. Ter- I mean, I teach my kid to fucking ter- give it back to him 10 times harder. That's what I teach him. Don't take you're, shit from anybody. That, I didn't take a, shit from anybody. A, a man that can't defend himself and the teacher son how to defend himself? Yeah, I defended myself all through junior high and high school. What are you talking about? Verbally? Verbally, yeah, because you're verbal. And physically. Verbal. I got punched three separate times. And I yeah, punched people I mean, three only, separate times. Only if, you're, only if you're as accurate with your punches as you were with your lunchbox, boy. Huh? I yeah. yeah, yeah. I use my lunchbox too, and with an ice pack and as a fucking weapon. I remember, I remember, I sl- I slid <laughs> away from that shit like Michael Jackson after lunch at the junior high. I was like, hee hee, and I dodged your uh your swing there, and you as you swung, you got bird shit land on you. I was playing with you. I was chasing you out of the cafeteria. I was trying to hit you with my lunchbox and my power chair. I was like speeding at you, and you saw. I don't know how you fucking reacted to this. You saw bird shit dropping from the sky. You jumped to the left, and the bird shit hit me directly in the face, got inside my lunchbox, and splattered all over my backpack. And your hair. And, and my hair. Well, yeah, all my face and my hair. I, I, I honestly don't know. Thing. I was... I, and you were genuinely yeah, just, happy. You were so genuinely I saw that satisfied. Because, like, honestly, like, people, like I said, I, I, may, I may look like I'm like white fatness right here. You know, Chris well, Fat. I call, I've always called you the Pillsbury No Hair Boy. Yeah, or Chris Fat. Chris, I like Chris or Fat. Or Chris Fat. Chris Fat. You I look like, like a fat, fat Chris Platt. But yeah, with those no. glasses on, you don't look anything like him. And with your no. beard shaved, you yeah. literally look you, Harry Potter. I mean, you look like Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah no. So Harry Potter, the school show. I take Chris Fat. No, I take Chris Fat any day of the week. Just you with the fucking hoodie on inside. You're making fun of me because on one of my Twitch live streams, I had sunglasses on. Okay, you're wearing a fucking uh, hoodie no. over your head right now. No, with a hat I was. On. I, okay, I called you the Terminator when you were wearing them. Lily, I made fun of the ones that made the old grandma ones. Like grandmas wear when they're driving in, in the fucking daytime when they're driving their old fucking the Terminator vans. One? No, the Terminator. No, the Ray. Where? No. What these? No, we don't need to put them on. Yeah. The blue. No, the. F- no, no, not those. No, 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 no. I like these. Not ones. those at all. Take those off. No, not those ones. What's wrong with these ones? No, it's the it's the, the ones that you put over your glasses. The really yeah, you remember the yeah, other the, ones? the Terminator ones for my eye surgeries. Uh, oh god, no, those weren't Terminator. No, I I, I have eight old. pairs of those. I have eight pairs <laughs> of those. Dude, eight I just pairs. picture. 
I picture my grandma wearing those, bro, when I see you. And I just yeah, see you I don't driving fucking wear them anywhere. They're for after eye surgery. I'd wear them as a joke. Dude, I, I couldn't. I couldn't with you. I, I really couldn't. I, I couldn't. You think you can go I, through I, eight I, eye surgeries? Two open heart surgeries and four oh, eye surgeries? No, 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 no. No, but I, no, but I bet you, like, other people would see you and think you look like an old grandma driving a minivan. Yeah, I'm like, not I denying that. that. I, don't, I don't wear them. I wore them after eye surgery. And how, like how, how is me making fun of you? Sorry, I have my mic there. So how is you wearing them, like me making fun of you wearing them, like affect whether I would not get them or not? Of course I would not survive eight eye surgeries. How is that relevant? You would not survive eight eye surgeries? No. <laughs> well, you, you just give up? Because do you, cause you, weren't, were you, you weren't knocked out for like half of them. Well, I woke up during some of them, which was Yeah, no. No, <laughs> and a couple no. of them, I they had to do it as a, an emergency situation, and he did it like he opened up the office late at night because he gave me his private number, and he opened up the office, and I did it in the office chair. Like I didn't go in the hospital, like I did it in his office chair. I had to that's hold disgusting. still. No, I can't picture that. Like that's I, the do only. You will the not imagine what I because you know. Remember, that's... I told you that was my worst fear ever. Like I could handle hard and back surgeries easy. I was used to those. My entire life, but eye surgeries were like my one thing. I just I couldn't do eye drops myself. Like, and now I do them fucking easy. Trust me, I no, do I them every eye night drops. Now. But I know, like, I can't like even he, play Dead Space. First, they had I to can't put play in, Dead Space with that shit. Well, I've always been very good at stress in stressful situations. I get very, very, very calm. Like my heart rate lowers. I can make decisions very easily. That's one thing I'm excellent at in like high pressure situations. I tend to perform really well. So when he told me, I need you to not move. I'm going to stick this needle in your eye. I need you to look all the way to the right so I can stick it through your cornea. And I'm gonna, first, it's going to numb your, your cornea. So he sticks it in my eye, right? Just a needle. And it feels like a balloon pops in your skull when they Why? stick a needle Why? in your eye. Why? 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 So no, he, stop he numbs talking. it first. Stop talking. And then he had to do cryotherapy stop. and then like stop. heat therapy stop. to push the retina back into place. It was, yeah, it was uh, crazy. So he ran a needle over my eye for, because my eyes are actually complicated. It took, about, a, I think, an hour and a half, and then I had to do laser surgery even more after, and it was a whole thing. But, uh, yeah, those were fun. I went through eight of those at emergencies, like, three in the morning, four in the morning, just out of a fucking whim, just had to run to the emergency room and or his office and get those done. It was fun. You know? And having my chest opened up twice, and then my back opened up, like, four times, and Stop, and, stop, uh, stop. And then they had stop, to fry I, part of my heart off with ablation surgery and known my heart. And... Stop, man. I don't want to, dude, no. I took my headphones off when you, I'm you thinking, got Speaking of Marvel, eye. like, I'm like Rocket Raccoon, right? That's He's just true. an experiment that survived all of them, right, by a mad yeah. scientist. I'm yeah. basically Rocket Raccoon from Marvel. I really am from Yeah. Marvel. I'm one of the Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. And Alan's are Groot. Yeah. And Alan's are Groot. So, um, yeah. How many surgeries have you had? So I had surgery on my right pinky finger because during a <laughs> basketball game, I dove for a ball and a couple and one other dude, I think at least dove for it as well. And we're in a pile. Next thing I know, I look at my hand and my pinky is literally bent at almost like a 90 degree angle like this. It's like thinking about like this. Yeah. My pinky was like, so, I mean, if you're watching this, sorry if you're listening, but if you're watching you see my pinky? My pinky actually was like this before surgery. I did that with my and, thumb. Even worse. Yeah. So someone kicked it, and actually, I didn't feel the pain. The adrenaline, the shock was just so much. I didn't feel the pain. And what I felt, though, was this doctor injecting two numb shots between here, which was the most painful thing I've ever felt between <laughs> my pinky. Most painful thing. It didn't say three, two, one. Just went, okay, in there. Then he just tried to pull it back together and tape it. And that didn't work. And like between like sophomore, junior of high school, I could fit for golf. Golf, I can, you know, swing again, grip and shit. I had surgery, which put like a couple of plates and the screws in. And the stitching was really painful, especially when she was trying to pull it out in between here. It's just mm -hmm. so painful. But I might, I'm going to get arthritis in this pinky at some point. And sometimes I can feel a little like soreness, but it's not, it's still pretty functional. It's actually 100% functional right now. Like I can still. So you know, one time, speaking of like dislocating, uh, like fingers, like my, my thumb on my left hand. So I was trying to push myself up into my desk chair and, and I accidentally fucked up and I slipped. 
and I landed on my thumb and it went completely the other direction. I completely yeah. that direction. And I snapped it back in place myself. And we went to the the urgent care or whatever. And they were like, Yeah, I mean, we don't know. You're they basically told me like, you're so fucked up, we don't know what normal is for you. So mm-hmm. we can't help you. And I'm like, yeah. What? They're like, you know, just it is what it is. And they mm-hmm. actually legitimately told me this that basically by you snapping it back in place. For some reason, it makes it look more normal than what you usually are compared to your other hand. I'm like, seriously? Yeah. And the, do- the woman doctor was like, you should do that to your other hand. And I'm like, what? She's like, you should fuck <laughs> up your other hand. I'm like, huh, okay, what good advice? Kind of like you know? the weapon where Mel Gibson can just like pop his dislocated shoulder, pop it out, and then pop it back in. That's exactly what I did. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what I did. Yeah. yeah. No, actually, interesting fact, though. I mean, you probably don't know about me, but... Talking about injuries, like the most injuries I've suffered was actually on my right arm, but somehow I'm dominant, like I'm right handed, I throw righty. So, which is crazy because I've actually broken areas where somehow I shouldn't have, like, it had to take me a while, a while to gain muscle back. I actually, for a long period of time, shot left handed instead of right handed, like I do now. Because when I was younger, like in kindergarten, I was on the monkey bars and I tried to swing and go to the, you know, land. Well, I missed and slammed my arm on the wood, you know, the, like the wood. I know, sorry, like I'm asking you. No, like, you know, like the, you know, like the, you climb up to like this, like, you know, floor. No, I don't area. know, Ryan. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I was like. I'm like, why well, yes, you, you, you know, know. so like you swing, you swing. So it's like you, you know, you climb. So sorry, you seen it, but you climb up to like this, um, you know, structure, and you kind of like, watched from you afar. Can't touch the ground. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You know, touch the ground. I tried to jump, and I hit this metal pole, broke my arm, and then, uh, you know, freshman year of high school is ironic because you we were you were my English class that year, and I actually had we had a test that day. But a couple that weekend, I had a basketball tournament, and f- like first first quarter, like really early on, I tr- I was playing club basketball. I tried to go up for a ball, but I got too steep, and I tried to catch myself. I jammed my I tried to catch myself. My elbow jammed, and I actually it was stuck like at a ninety degree angle, like this, pretty much, essentially. Where's my like this? Mm-hmm. And I couldn't like move it at all. Like I actually Are you dislocated move it. your elbow joint, or yeah. But uh, but the doctors was a, a hoot. Like you'll love this. Speaking of great hospital stories, so yeah, literally, so yeah, I couldn't jam. I jam my elbow, couldn't move it. I couldn't even put any weight on it. And we and my mom, you know, because she's a nurse, she think you know, she doesn't think I know shit. Even when I was sick, she's like, no, you're going to school. You you ain't got shit. My mom goes, we're not going to the hospital. Your arm will be healed in the next day or two. So think about that. I'm trying to sleep and my arm is jammed. Ne- Wait, so you broke like, your arm and your mom didn't. Have you go to the hospital? She, she didn't believe me. She didn't believe me. She didn't believe Jesus. me. Jesus. She, she, yeah. And next day or two, I'm like, Ma, look at me. And she goes, okay, so, you know, we'll go to the hospital. We get x-rays and they're like, we see nothing wrong with his arm. And I'm like, no fucking shot. They, you're saying there's nothing wrong with my arm. We go home and my mom is making dinner, right? And I'm upstairs in my room. The doctor calls my mom and goes, hey, we actually found a fracture in your son's elbow. Dude. Hands up, hands up, hands up, right? Like five minutes later, calls back and goes, Oh, yeah, your son also has a hairline fracture in his right wrist. So, literally, they're like, She's like, Great. So, literally, that we had, I had to get a sling. I don't know if you remember this, but I had, I had to get a sling and I had a cast on my wrist. And we had a writing test in English class that freshman year, and we were mm-hmm. at the same circle, circle table. I couldn't write. So, that teacher let me actually type it, and I was done before everybody. Mm hmm. I mean, yeah. dude, that's like how fucked up. I told you they mismeasured my, uh, like one of my heart valves, and they told me I needed immediate yeah. Uh, yeah. heart surgery. When they, yeah. I'm still dealing with this, they don't really know what my heart measurement. Right now, mm-hmm. I could currently be like dying, but they're yeah. not sure. So they're like, yeah. well, I have to get an MRI. But um, yeah. yeah, that's that's crazy. A hospital, like imagine not understanding like you. Like you misread an X-ray that badly, yeah. To where and where I feel it, like I had a panic attack. I didn't believe, like I felt like I was actually having a heart attack. And I went out to the emergency room, like, hey, you're just having a panic attack. And like they did all the, you know, they checked everything. And I was like, okay, you know, I trust them, you know. And I felt like I was, you know, had a panic attack. So I calmed down a little bit as time went on when I was there. No, at that moment, I'm like, 
you're fucking bullshitting me. You're tell you're a doctor and you're telling me this is not broken. Like when you're when your patient sitting there and goes, for sure this is broken, and you're like, I don't see shit. I mean, you better go fucking look again. Like I said, I can't bend it. It's it's shut. I can't bend it. And and you're like, you're telling me there's but dude, nothing. Isn't that scary that like a professional at that level fucks up that badly? Still, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's like such a high stakes situation job where you should yeah. you like you, know, you can't fuck up really, but yeah. yet it still happens. Well, I mean, right. honestly, I mean, I shouldn't be a doctor either. Like, I've suffered so many foot and ankle and ankle injuries in basketball, especially. Like, literally, like even the trainer would tell me like rehab and stuff. I try to like cut my rehab short and play as fast as possible, but I'd always rehearse it. So I, oh, I that's why I, I fucked up. Like, so forever, I think I have to wear ankle braces because, like, if I roll my ankles, I can I can hear them, feel them pop. You have to wear ankle you know? braces. Yeah, because like if I roll my ankles, I can hear them pop, and uh, I can hear and feel them pop. And like because I my, oh. I roll my ankles so easily in basketball, so I have to wear braces. Like my I said, ankles I are my already popped. <laughs> yeah, no, junior year of high school basketball. I I I think it was junior, it was sophomore, junior year. I literally went into the season with a, a foot injury, played like a month or two, re-injured the foot even worse, and I was out for another like month or two, and I played like the last few games. I mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I was just saying, I mean, talk about injuries. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sorry. I was yeah. just saying. But like I say, like, it's crazy to think about, like, I, I'm basketball now that like, I can shoot left or right handed because of, like, that arm. My arm, like, I, I'm so, like, I actually am stronger left handed than I am right handed because, like, I have, I always kind of didn't really focus on gaining muscle in my right arm, especially after I, fra- like, you know, fractured or fractured it and stuff like that mm-hmm. i didn't really like okay go to the gym and do this i always felt i always didn't like one arm because i feel like i was i can still do this side too but what i should have done is going like 20 25 here and like maybe like a five or a 10 here you know it kind of just i because i feel more comfortable doing like two than just one it feels a little weird so i should have been smarter and just kind of go like hey 20 here i'm a right arm five here and you know just go with the motion wait so you can lift 20 pounds at a time per hand i mean like I can do, like I said, I can sh- like right hand is like. See, I don't my get ma- that. Like I've never known what it's like to lift anything really heavy. I just don't. Yeah, no. You know, no. Actually, like when I my deadlift with two, like with the with the bar, my left hand carries my right hand uh, weight strength wise. Because I like can't I said, imagine what it's like I to have a stable wrist. Like my wrists are just always dislocated, so I uh-huh. never know what it's like. It's always yeah. loose. I don't wonder what it's like to like. Yeah. No, my, I feel stable like my joints, right arm is loose. I have no idea. Like, I feel like my right arm is loose because of how many times, like, I've, I've heard it and shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, like, yeah, so multiple fractures and shit. So it's like, I feel like this arm is just everywhere. So, like, after a while, if I shoot a lot of shots in basketball, my arm can start feeling it because, like I said, it's not as, as good as this arm. Because, like I said, if I deadlift, this arm definitely, strength-wise, is carrying me. I need to get stronger here so it's, I can lift more. Isn't it amazing how fucking fragile we are? Everybody? Yeah, you know? I mean, I'm taking. I mean, I'm taking vitamins right now to help strengthen my. You know, I'm eating the right, trying to eat the right stuff, and take vitamins to strengthen my my bones. Isn't it crazy that just like one little bullet can just kill you at the right place? Is one little small thing like for how big our bodies are, like one little bullet can just end you. you know, it's actually funny. That's a funny thing. Funny thing you bring up because I literally think about like where if I got shot, where would I like to get shot at? You know, where I can survive. And I actually asked you, my mom I mean, this. Like right up in here, this area Hand? Right here. No, in this area right here. Like an open area of your shoulder where it goes straight through? That or up in, yeah, like up in here. Cause like my, I asked my mom, like, mom, if I got shot like right here, that's my survival. And she goes, survival rights pretty good, especially if it, it just is an open where like, it just goes through. What about the throat? Yeah, I die. I don't want to die. <laughs> like, Jesus, I mean, like, what? Like, death. Bad. Like, God, can you not ask? Like, see, What's what if the you got worst shot, place like, you can get shot? The throat? Uh, throat, <sighs> nuts. No, the chest. No, 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 because that's like quick. Like no matter like if you get shot in the nuts, like that's a slow bleed out. That's gonna not be fun. Uh, not even if you survive, even any. if you survive a nut shot, number one, it's gonna be a collateral, meaning like no, two worst, hits at the, once. And uh, the worst you know, place I think to get shot is the kneecaps. I don't think so. It would be the nut because you can come back from the kneecaps. Because you just. I, I wouldn't be able to use my legs ever again. Okay, wait, wait. You would rather be shot in the kneecap than the nuts? Or I mean, you would no. rather be shot in the nuts than the kneecaps? I mean... What are you, crazy? I mean, but 
but Michael, you you already can't you you're answering that because you already can't use your legs. If you get shot in the kneecaps, you can't Ryan, use your Ryan, legs. Ryan, Ryan, if I could walk, I'd still choose the kneecaps over my nuts. Really? Yeah, I, I think what I think what kind of scars yeah. me though is the, is the Black Ops Three campaign where Lily Hudson I knew strapped you were in the fucking that. chair. Yeah, that was Hudson Black Ops Two. Black Ops 2. Oh, Black Ops Two. Sorry, where he's uh, where Hudson strapped to the chair, or was it Woods or was it Hudson? No, it was Hudson. Hudson and just gets shot in the kneecaps. Oh, dude, that's terrible. I couldn't. I mean, I can't believe you'd rather be shot in the nuts than the kneecaps. I, I, was, I just, I just, I, I don't, just, I don't think just, anybody listening would ever side with you. Nobody. I got, I got shut in the butt dogs. <laughs> it just came up and bit me. Just came up and bit me. I wonder what it actually would be like to get shot not. in the ass. I mean, I, I wonder what that'd be like. That would probably be the best place, honestly. Pure fat. I don't know. Wouldn't even matter that much. Like easy recovery. I mean, here too, though. I think here too, easy recovery. So she goes through just ding ding because you're it's up in this area. You no. Know. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of good places to be shot. <laughs> yeah, especially like in places where there's a lot of blood. Your whole body's blood. What? What are we even talking about? I mean, because right like, if you think about, you know, if you think about it, though, you get sh- like it's like think about like getting stabbed because in certain places you get stabbed, like all the veins, arteries, and like and shit. You know, like, like there's some places it's better to be stabbed than other places because of all the veins, muscles, and everything that that, that causes the bleed. You know what I'm saying? I think being stabbed sometimes is worse than being shot. That's what I'm saying. But it's also depends on the place, though. Because if you get shot, like maybe like in a thigh or something, like in the upper thigh, but it hits all like these veins and stuff like that, you bleed out and you'll die because you hit all that shit. It's like seeing them being stabbed. It's it's an artery. Yeah, you can bleed out easily. You gotta. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah, you gotta figure out. I mean, I don't figure out where you want to get shot. Don't get shot, please. Don't. But you know, like there's places that are. Why can't your like heart just keep pumping blood? You know, like just why do you just run out? What if you kept drinking water? Like, I do. do you think I know? <laughs> do you think I fucking know? I, I honestly, we should, we should stop it here. We should stop it here now. We should stop it now. Yeah, this is this is uh, probably getting stupid. Yeah. I feel like it's getting yeah, stupid for a really, while. Really, really, really. I actually, I thought the, the the vein thing was you know informational but not incredible. But then you go, but then you do that. Really, you ask that question. Really, that you can just keep you, drinking what, water. Why can't you keep? Okay, no, let's <laughs> after. Well, like stop. bleeding out no. of an artery. Like, why isn't that no, fine? No. You know, no, 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 cut it. No, please. I should no. actually have another podcast interview trauma surgeons. That would be fun. I have go a lot ahead. of questions, go ahead. Go and ahead. just I want to ask like increasingly stupid questions to see their reaction. I'm like, are you actually asking me this right now? What are you fucking yeah, and, retarded? And, <laughs> just end it? <laughs> just like that? No other, nothing? Nothing else? Just end, no, I mean, no, outro. Let's get the outro going. I mean, I really can't sure. believe how much you look like a Harry Potter school shooter. And, okay, I mean, it's spot and, on. Really? Really? Okay. Okay. Everybody, thank you all for listening to this week's episode of the Walk and Roll podcast. If you have not, please do hit the like button on YouTube and do follow us on do follow us on all our socials on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And if you would like extra content, do follow Michael the Chairman on Twitch. Yep. Um, so we're on social media as uh, the Walk and Roll podcast, and also Michael the Chairman. You haven't gotten your setup yet, Ryan. So pretty much um, just my shit. Yeah. And uh, rate us on iTunes if you're doing yep. what listen on iTunes. It helps the algorithm a lot. Same on YouTube, all that shit. So thanks again for watching and uh, comment what you think Ryan looks like if you're watching this uh, on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, fucking. As I lift a fucking, literally as I lift, the light of Jesus comes. Oh my God, Ryan. That's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the light's bad. The light's really uh, bad. You're light, you had the worst conditions for filming ever no I can't front wait. lighting there's literally, there's literally, no okay. front lighting all overhead lighting yeah like you're in a parking garage yeah just terrible you look like you're about to get it looks like aliens are about to abduct you they see what you look like and they're like no thanks like they're about to reject you in your mid abduction <laughs> okay anyways okay thank you guys for watching this episode all right thanks again for watching everybody see you next episode